<laughs> Hello everyone. Um, just maybe a quick introduction of myself. Um, so my name is Matthias. So it's spelled M-A-T-H-I-A-S. So you can ask any questions you have for me. What do you want to know about me? Shoot. Okay, no questions yet. <clears throat> so for those who didn't hear it, my name is Matthias. So my name is M-A-T-H-I-A-S. Hello everyone, hello Tui, hello Trong, hello Hai. <laughs> but you can also call me Matt, so M-A-T if you want. That's maybe easier to remember. Okay, so I think you pronounce it Li. She asks me, where are you from? So I am from the UK, from the United Kingdom. Good afternoon, Mai. Okay, so Adam Nguyen, hello, asks me, how old are you, sir? Uh, take a guess, how old am I? Any guesses? No, okay, so um, I am 26, 26 years old. But my birthday is the 26th of June, so I will be 27 pretty soon. Okay, so some people guessed 35. Wow, no. I'm, so I'm 26. 32. No, 26. <laughs> Looks like you're 30 years old. Yeah, true. Many people think I'm older because of the beard, because I have a beard. No, 26. 26. 37, okay, yeah. 26, indeed, thank you, Mai. Any, any other questions for me? What do you want to know about me? Ask me anything. This is your moment. Nice to meet you, Hao, Hao Tran. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, sometimes difficult. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, yes, I have a girlfriend. Yes, I do. Uh, what brings you to Vietnam? Okay, good question. What brings me to Vietnam? Um, so, what brings me to Vietnam? I wanted to move abroad. I wanted to live in another country. Uh, as far as possible from the UK. So Vietnam is pretty far from the UK. Um, and so I work here as a teacher, uh, but I also work as a designer during the day. Um, where do you live? Okay, so I live in Ho Chi Minh City, obviously. But I live in uh, Bintan District. Bintan District. Do you speak Vietnamese? Okay, good question. No, I don't speak any Vietnamese yet. But I'm just like you guys, also learning Vietnamese. So I'm taking classes to speak Vietnamese. Vietnam is good for you, Throng? Yes, it is. The climate is very good. You can be outside every day, so that's awesome. In the UK, it rains a lot. Here it's always hot, in the UK it's always cold. So, and the food, indeed, I like the food as well. Okay, so um, another question. Huin, Huin, Ti Kim On. Okay, uh, what is your first impression in Vietnam? Um, so, my first impression of Vietnam, of Vietnam, is that the people are very friendly. They are very friendly and very open towards foreigners like me. 
So I really like the people and I really like the food in Vietnam as well. Uh, another question from Li An. So how long have I been in Vietnam? Uh, so I've been in Vietnam for one year now. One year. Uh, Bat Hoi asks me, do you like the weather in Vietnam? So yes, I do. Um, although sometimes it can rain a lot, right, in the rainy season. Uh, I like the fact that it's very warm here. It's very warm. So I can be outside every day and I can wear a t-shirt and shorts every day. So that's really good. Okay, so Natalie Ong asks me, how old are you? So I'm 26. 26. 26. So let's see, what other questions? Oh, how do you see the traffic? Hien Hien. So you would ask me, do you like the traffic? Or how do you experience the traffic in Vietnam? Uh, that's, I think, uh, the thing I like the least in Vietnam. Uh, it's very busy. It's very dangerous to drive a motorbike in Vietnam. So, um, yeah. But it's also exciting, you know, exciting to drive a motorbike here. So I like it and I don't like it. Um, how long are you planning to stay in Vietnam? So I'm planning to stay in Vietnam for at least one more year. Um, well, okay, so Huang Tan asked me, what do you think about the girls in Vietnam? Uh, I really like the girls in Vietnam, but my girlfriend is not Vietnamese, so she's from the UK as well. So Ngoc Huang asked me, I want to improve my English speaking skill. Can you help me? Of course. Just come by to this place and you can, uh, you can take classes here and I can be the teacher and then I can help you to improve your English. Uh, Constant Strong, yes, I do drive a motorbike to work. So every day I take the motorbike to work um, but I feel it's a bit dangerous. So, so a couple of people ask me, where do you live? So I live in Bintan district. Bintan district. Okay, another interesting question. Huyen Pan asks me, do you know other, any other languages uh, besides English? So I do speak English. I speak a bit of French. And I speak a bit of Dutch as well. Are you married? No, I'm not married. Not yet. Not yet. So Natalie Ong, right? That's your name. Okay, good. How can I have, how can I take part in your class? Just come by. Drop by and uh, you can, you can uh, subscribe in a class here. So Fan Nguyen Nhu asks me how old am I? So I'm 26. Uh, okay, another interesting question. So which cities have I been in Vietnam except for Ho Chi Minh? Uh, so I have been in Hanoi before. Hanoi. Uh, I've been in Da Nang before. Uh, yeah, so Da Nang and Hanoi. So I'm from the UK. Phi Nguyen. UK. From the UK. Okay, Ngoc Puong, you live in Natrang. I never been in Natrang. Never been there. Uh, so okay, so just Nguyen Huyen. Hello, nice to meet you. So my name is Matthias. So it's M A T H I A S. But you can call me math. So M-A-T, that's easier to remember. So V Tran, can you say something in Vietnamese? Uh, no, because I don't speak any Vietnamese. I can only say, come on. Uh, and that's about it. 
But I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning Vietnamese. Do you know BTS? I no, I don't. What is what is that? So I'm living in uh, Bintan, Bintan. So Ngoc Wong. Uh, wait, let's see. So Lin Thi. So how long have I been in Vietnam? So I have been in Vietnam for one year now. One year. I'm from the UK. Thank you, Dui Khan Pan. My hair looks cool, thank you. <laughs> Do I have a Vietnamese name? Asks uh, T. T. No, I don't think so. You can, you, can, you can give me a Vietnamese name if you want. <laughs> so where am I from? So I am from the UK, the United Kingdom. Okay, so Li Mi, you will teach me Vietnamese. Okay, that's good. So how old am I? So I'm 26. Two, six, 26. So now I am actually, so Tran Min Gan, I think you pronounce it. So now I am here where we do all the classes. So you can drop by if you want to follow classes here. You can drop by and you can subscribe in a class. Okay, so Ngok Tao, nice to meet you, welcome. So my name is Matthias. So it's M-A-T-H-I-A-S. Have I ever listened to V-pop music? So I assume that means Vietnamese pop music? Uh, no. What is your favorite song? What is the song I should listen to? The V-pop song I should listen to? Uh, Pham Kui. Uh, can you speak Vietnamese? So no, I don't speak any Vietnamese yet. But I'm taking classes. So... Have, wait, my toy asks me, have I ever eaten pizza in Vietnam? And can, can you say some differences from pizza in the UK? Uh, I don't know. Pizza is great everywhere. It tastes great in Vietnam, but also in the UK. So <laughs> no differences there. So what level am I teaching? So I'm, I'm teaching level one which is beginners, level two is the intermediate level, and then level three, which is the upper intermediate level. Um, do I like Vietnamese food? Yes, I do. I do like Vietnamese food. And my favorite is bún cha. So what, what are your favorite foods in Vietnam? What should I try? Which uh, dishes should I try in Vietnam? So yes, we can help you to improve your listening skill. We can also help you to pronounce English better. Just drop by and subscribe in a class. Uh, and then we do all those things for you. Okay, so Nath Nathalie Ong, right? Nathalie Ong. <laughs> Okay, so Dao asks me, what do you think is the most complained people in your... What is the biggest complaint people in the UK have about Vietnam or about the UK? How, how can you learn English? What is the best way to learn English was a question. So I think the best way of learning English is speaking English with other people. And that's what we try to do here. 
having conversations with each other in English. So that's by far the best way to learn English. So hello everyone. So I'm 26, I'm from the UK. Um, and I like the weather here in Vietnam. Yes, I like the weather because it's very warm. Do I like durian? <laughs> Good question. Kim, uh, do I like durian? Uh, so yeah, I like the taste, how it tastes. Uh, I don't like the smell, you know, the smell and the taste. So I like the taste, I don't like the smell. Tui Ha Nguyen, do you drink do you drink milk tea in Vietnam? No, I don't. I never tried that before, but I heard it's really good. Yeah, what's happening with my earphones is a good question. So they, they, they tend to fall out of my ears. You know, my ears are too small for the ear for the ears to stick in. So what do I dislike about Vietnam? Okay, good question. Um, so I think the traffic, the traffic is the one thing I dislike about Vietnam. It's too busy and too dangerous. Hello everyone. So 26, I'm 26. Yes, so indeed my pronunciation of the Vietnamese names is not really good. I <laughs> so, Pham um, Kui, so do you usually live stream? So we do live streams, I think, once or twice a month. Um, and every time it's a different teacher. So today it's me, but the next time it will be another teacher who live streams on Facebook. Yes, Huynh, I would like some recommendations on good Vietnamese food I should try, so go ahead. So, Li Kim Dung. So, my favorite dish in Vietnam is um, Bun Cha. But if you have any recommendations of things I should try here, please let me know. Thank you, Queen Nguyen. Thank you. She says, hope you have another good year in Vietnam. So thank you for that. So I think Trang Nguyen, I think you asked me where am I teaching now? So I'm teaching right here in Tiang An Genoi. Okay, so Li Huang Bao Tran asks me, can you spell your name? So yes, I can. It's M-A-T-H-I-A-S. But easier to remember is M-A-T or Matt. Uh, do I know any other languages? Uh, yes, so English, primary language or native language. And then I speak a little bit of French as well. I'm from the UK, United Kingdom. Okay, so An Nguyen says I should try Bun Tit Nuong. Okay, I like Bun Tit Nuong as well. It's very similar to Bun Cha, right? Okay, Tu Ha Nguyen asks me, have you ever went on a Vietnamese trip or did I travel Vietnam? Um, so yes, I did. Two years ago, I traveled from Ho Chi Minh all the way up to Hanoi. And I also went to Sapa and Dalat and uh, Hoi An and Halong Bay. It's a very, very beautiful country. So I really like Vietnam. Uh, so do, I, do we offer online classes? Uh, I don't think so. 
So what we primarily do is put people together in a classroom and we have conversations with each other in English. Okay, good question from Dao Tang Ka. So what is your biggest addiction? Good question. <laughs> uh, my biggest addiction uh, is cigarettes. So I smoke cigarettes. That's my biggest addiction. So I have been in Vietnam for one year, Truong Nguyen, and Belgine. Uh, so I am 26. 26. So right now I'm in District 10 in the offices of Keng An Genoi. Uh, so where do I live in Vietnam? So I live in Bintan district. And then Tuan An asks me a weird question. So please explain, do you use Mino for your beard? I, know, I don't know what Mino means. So please explain. Yes, I do use Instagram. So it's MR, like Mr. And then my surname is L-A-S-O-E-N. So do follow me. Pam Tien Gok Yen. Sorry if I pronounce it uh, not right. So have I ever been in China? So the question you should ask is, have you ever been in China? So yes, I've been in China uh, to visit the Chinese wall. Uh, so, no, Guyen uh, Tuyen, we don't have classes in Hanoi, so only in Ho Chi Minh City. Wow, you call my name very clear, really. So, Dao Tang Ka? Is that how you pronounce it? Good. <laughs> so, it's uh, my Instagram, Trang Guyen. My Instagram is MR, so like Mr. M R, and then L A S O E N. <clears throat> uh, Vin Dang Le, can you introduce a little bit about yourself or can you introduce yourself in Vietnamese? Uh, I would really like to do that but I don't speak any Vietnamese yet, so I can't. But as soon as I speak Vietnamese, I will live stream again and I will introduce myself in Vietnamese. Um, I, I think, uh, let's see, Yen Vo, Yen Vo. Um, you can find the address of the, the classes and the office on Facebook as well. So just look on Facebook under information or info and there you will find the address. So a couple of people ask me, do I speak Vietnamese? So no, I don't speak any Vietnamese yet. So I am taking classes to improve my Vietnamese. My name, uh, yeah, Toila, yeah, that, okay, Toila Matias, right? Toila Matias. Okay, so Huyn Thi Kim On asks me if I can pronounce can and can't. Yeah, so can, I can do this, or I can't do this. So the can't, you need to pronounce the T at the end. Uh, Suan Mai, uh, hello, nice to meet you. So what do you think about my country? What do I think about Vietnam? So I really like Vietnam. I like the weather, I like the people, and I like the food a lot. Hello Nguyen Tuyet Suong, and hello Tui Duong.
Okay, so to Ying Yu, what is my favorite football team? So obviously it's England, right? That's my favorite football team. And I also like Arsenal. Uh, Fan Guyen asks me, so you ask me, have you married? You, sh or you should ask me, are you married? Are you married? So I am not married yet. Okay, so An Hui, I think you just joined. So hello, welcome. So I am from the UK, the United Kingdom. And I don't speak any Vietnamese to yet. No, I don't. Yet. I'm taking classes to improve my Vietnamese. Okay, Tien uh, Tui likes the weather, the people and the nature in Vietnam. I agree. I also like the nature. It's very beautiful. Uh, Dao Tang Ka, is there a part of your appearance that you like best? <laughs> I, think, I think I like my beards the most. Yeah. My Tao, no, I'm, I'm a really bad singer, so no, I will not sing a song. <laughs> um... Chowan, very interesting question. So a culture, culture shock when traveling to Vietnam for the first time. So I think what is very different uh, from the UK is the traffic and how busy uh, the city is. So that was the biggest difference uh, when I arrived in Vietnam. Let's see... Uh, what football club do you like in Vietnam? Uh, I honestly, I have to be honest, I have never watched a football game in Vietnam. But I think Ho Chi Minh City has also a, a football team, right? I am 30 years old. So my Tao is, is your name exactly. Okay, good. <laughs> So I think Huyen T. Kim Oon asks me if I have a tip or a trick to pronounce the the. And the trick is to stick out your tongue like this and then pronounce the the. The. So that's the best trick to pronounce the the. How to pronounce racing and raising. How long? An. So the C, racing. And the S is raising. So it's softer. There's something in Vietnamese. Sao luk tui hok hok ko tai ung tai. Something. I don't know what it means. So where are you now? Now I am in District 10 at the offices of Cheng Ange Noi. So drop by anytime. We can meet in person. So can you read? So Ngok Diem Duong Thi asks me, can you read tree and tree? So it's very, very similar, right? Tree and three. Three, three and three. So if you say three, use the tongue. Three. 
three. <laughs> Hi Nguyen, no, I don't use lipstick. Bre breath and breath. Yeah? So as soon as you see TH, you stick out your tongue. Da. Yes, in District 10, Joyce. That's right. So in how many cities have I been in Vietnam? So I've been in Ho Chi Minh, obviously. Ho Chi Minh City. I've been in Hanoi. And I've been in Da Nang. And I've been in uh, Hoi An as well. I never went to Nha Trang City before. But I will visit soon, I promise, Tran Thi Kham Vi. So Tram Guyen asked me, did you marry? So the question is, are you married? Are you married? So no, I'm not married yet. I'm too young to marry. So Ngo Dai, yes, I do like the food in Vietnam. I do like the food in Vietnam. But if you have any recommendations on dishes I should try here, please let me know. I think, okay, so Lee Kim Dung says, I think you should travel to the south of Vietnam. Yes. <coughs> The Mekong Delta, right? Or Phu Quoc? Do you have any recommendations in the south? Where should I go in the south of Vietnam? Can you imagine with vanilla ice cream? Vanilla ice cream. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> okay, so Viet Nguyen asks me, do I like durian? So I like the taste when you put it in your mouth, but I don't like the smell of durian. So what do I like about Vietnam? So what the question is, sorry, what is your name? Min Guyet. So the, the question is, what do you like about Vietnam? So I like the food, I like the weather, and I like the people. They are very friendly and very open. So uh, yeah, that's what I like about Vietnam the most. <coughs> okay, so Kui Nguyen says I should go to the floating markets in Kanto. It, which is a part of the Mekong Delta. Okay, good. I will do so. Hello, Kelly Pham. Okay, so Tran Fuong asks me, do I like the traffic in Vietnam? So, uh, I don't like the traffic in Vietnam. It's too busy and it's very dangerous. Hello, Kang Pan, Kam Tin Guyen. <laughs> okay, so Dao Tang Ka asks me what I think are the cheapest ways to travel and save money in Vietnam. Uh, it's probably driving by bus. That's probably the cheapest way. Mm -hmm. So, a couple of people asked me my Instagram. So, it's Mr. Lazun. So, M R L A S O E N. So, please follow me. Do you think you will marry? So, uh, wait, let's see. Kui Mi asked me, do you think you will marry a Vietnamese girl? No, because my girlfriend is not Vietnamese. 
So no, um, I will not marry a Vietnamese girl. Okay, so An Hui asked me, do I prefer dogs or cats? Um, so I like both dogs and cats, uh, but I prefer cats. And I also have a cat at home. So I have one cat. Let's see, what else do we have? What do you think about the traffic? Yeah, so I don't like it. It's too busy. It's too dangerous. Um, that was a question from Vin Dang Le. <coughs> okay, so Mikkel Sang. Uh, so where are you from and how old are you? So I am from the UK, the United Kingdom, and I'm 26. 26. Okay, so can you pronounce my name? So instead of can you tell my name, pronounce my name, and I will do that right now. It's Tam Tara? Tam Tara? I don't know. Tam Tara. Does my name mean anything special in my country? Um, it's a question from Huyn Ti Kim Ong. I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, Kwan Sun asks me, how many children do you have? I don't have any children yet. <clears throat> But I would like to have two children in the future. Uh, Jenny Nguyen. Okay, nice to meet you. So she asked me where do I live in Ho Chi Minh. So I live in Bintan. Bintan district. Kwan San, no, I don't speak any Chinese. No. I will start with learning Vietnamese and after, I might learn some Chinese as well. <coughs> uh, Huang Fuong asked me, can you teach me the best way how to learn English? So the best way to learn English is to speak English with other people. Um, and so that's what we do here in Tian An Genoi. So what we do is we put students together in one room, in one classroom, together with a teacher. And then we exercise by having, sorry, by having a conversation with each other. So we ask questions to each other and we answer those questions. So that's what we do here at uh, Tian An Genoi. So we really focus on having conversations with each other because we believe it's the best way to improve our English. Um, so you can actually find more information about our school and about the classes we have uh, on our website, which is www.tianangenoi.vietnam or .vn. <coughs> uh, and I think I will stop the... Uh, uh, streaming right now so it was very nice to meet you all so goodbye see you next time hopefully I will see you around here so please drop by in district 10 uh, and okay see you all bye bye <laughs>